An encounter with a police officer outside the B&B Sports Bar early Wednesday morning scars a Clarksdale man, Houston Skipper, for life. When I get out the car, uh, one of the officers uh, uh, spoke, spoke to me, said, what's up, guy? And I didn't respond to it. I kept walking, trying to get, in, get inside. Instead, Skipper says suffering these injuries at the hands of a white police officer while two other black officers, including the shift captain, were present. He stopped me before I could get in and told me to place my hands on the wall. And when I asked why was my hand been placed on the wall, he said I was on the wrist for mouthing him and put the cuffs on me. Proceeded to take me to the car. Before we get to the car, slung my face up against the car. You know, they never told me that I was charged with anything. He just, he said I was mapping him and he had me in handcuffs. And I mean, it, it, never, it never was a charge. They didn't tell me a charge or nothing. I, I tried to come to my feet and he swept me off my feet three, three times. They gave me an option to ride in the ambulance or go to jail. Houston Skipper's father quite upset about what happened to his son. I just can't believe that an officer did this with his with his hand behind his back handcuffs. I just don't understand how police brutality, how come it's so bad, how come it can't be stopped. This is the second police brutality allegation filed against the Clarksdale Police Department involving a white officer in just two months. ABC 6 News going to City Hall in search of answers, only to learn Clarksdale Mayor Henry Espy didn't even know of Wednesday's alleged incident. Well, you know, you wonder why sometimes, but I, I guess sometimes the mayor's the last person to know about some things in the community. SB swiftly calling an emergency meeting with police brass, then launching an investigation into the department. We did. We asked the city attorney to pull all parties together so that the board had a full knowledge of what happened, why it happened, and when it happened. Skipper's attorney Ellis Pittman says police brutality needs swift justice. It's, doing it. it's white and black officers doing this. Tutwell is a clear example all over the nation. And until the U.S. Attorney's Office, the local district attorneys start stepping in and prosecuting those officers for doing these type of things, they're going to keep doing it.